Hi, my name is Ian Stewart, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the new multi-channel interleave surround support in the audio editor in WaveLab Pro 11. Let's take a look. WaveLab 11 introduces extended support for multi-channel interleave files of more than two channels, including editing support in the audio editor. To help keep things organized, we're also introducing the concept of channel clusters. A channel cluster is simply a logical group of one or two channels. So for example, front left and front right, or left surround and right surround are stereo clusters, while center or LFE are mono clusters. You may have also noticed that compared to mono and stereo files, a multi-channel file has an additional track header on the left side of the interface that contains controls to make editing easier and more precise. These include mute and solo buttons per channel cluster, which behave identically to the mute and solo controls in the montage. So by default, solo buttons are exclusive, where clicking on one will unsolo the previously soloed cluster. However, you can use the command or control key to solo multiple clusters, or the alt and command keys to set a cluster to solo defeat, where soloing another cluster will not mute the defeated cluster. There's also a fold control, which minimizes the vertical real estate taken up by a cluster. You can use the command or control modifier to fold all clusters but the one you're clicking on, or the shift modifier to unfold all clusters. There's also a new channel selection mode button at the top left of the interface. When activated, time selections are made on all channels, regardless of the vertical position of the cursor. If you deactivate it though, the selection range becomes very flexible. You can select both channels of a cluster by placing your cursor in the middle of the cluster, or just one channel or the other by placing the cursor at the top or bottom of the cluster. Once you've made a selection, you can also very easily make adjustments to it by dragging the top, bottom, left, or right edges. You can also hold Command and Shift to freely move the selection around. You can also freely copy and paste between channels. So for example, I could copy from the front left to the center channel, or from the center and LFE channels to the left surround and right surround channels. Using the same selection procedures, you can also use any of the offline editors or an external editor of your choice on just the channels selected. You can also change the channel layout and configuration. This is accessed via the info panel in the file menu, and you can freely reassign the file to any configuration you need. The master section has also received some updates to help manage multi-channel workflows. When a multi-channel file or montage is active, a new button appears which allows you to select an individual channel cluster. Once selected, this cluster is routed to the main front, left, and right audio ports, allowing you to easily audition a cluster on your main speakers. Additionally, this sets the selected cluster as the target for the render and place option. This can allow you to apply a plugin which may only support stereo or mono channel configurations to individual clusters as needed. And, in case you are wondering, even if you don't have a full surround monitoring environment, you can still take advantage of WaveLab's new multi-channel capabilities. The easiest way to monitor a surround file on a stereo playback system is to use the Mix to Stereo option in the master level pane, but if you need more fine-grained control, Mix Convert 6 offers a wide range of monitoring and downmixing options. Similarly, for Ambisonics projects, you can use the VST AMBA decoder to decode up to a seventh order ambisonics file to either surround or stereo formats. If you're a fan of the Spectrum editor, there's also a new menu that allows you to specify whether a selection applies to only one channel, the channel cluster, or all channels. Lastly, in the montage, the track channel dispatching dialog has been renamed to the track routing dialog and has received a bit of an overhaul. Faders now allow you to adjust the gain of a channel going to the output, and for stereo pairs, faders can be linked or unlinked. So those are the new multi-channel interleave surround features in WaveLab Pro 11. If this has been helpful, please consider giving us a like and subscribe. We've got more videos like this on the way too, so be sure to hit the bell to get notified when a new video is released. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.